Maybe meeting Neil isn't such a good idea. It's gonna be fine. Alf, you two are gonna get along great. He's a wonderful guy with a terrific sense of humor. I'm not gonna marry him if that's what you're getting at. <laughs> now, when Neil gets here, I, I don't think you should be in the room. Uh, not right away, anyway. I'm gonna need time to prepare him for the shock. Surprise. <laughs> Pleasure of your company. Why don't I just leap out of a closet at him? If he dies, you won't have to explain a thing. <laughs> He's here. Oh, my gosh. I can't go through with this. My heart's racing like a schoolboy. Now, just go into the kitchen, and we'll call you when it's time to come out, okay? All right, all right. It'll give me some time to spread butter on my feet. <laughs> Neil. Okay. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hey, Neil. Hi, Uncle Neil. Oh, how's the new apartment? Did you get the electricity turned on okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks pretty drab now that I can see everything. But hey, it's home. Hi, Uncle Neil. Hope you haven't had too much coffee. <laughs> no, why? Oh, you know my brother. Always concerned for people's welfare. <laughs> so what'd you guys want to talk to me about? Sit down, Neil. Um, there's something about our household that you don't know is something pretty unique. It's something we've kept a secret. It's something that you might find hard to accept at first. Is it something to do with Brian? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I don't know how to say this without sounding crazy, so I'm just gonna come out and say it. Neil, we have an alien living with us. It's an alien from space. We have an alien from space living with us. He's a part of our family now. And that's why we thought you two should meet. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I know this is hard to accept, Neil, but the fact is we've had an alien from space living with us forever. I, I mean, for almost three years now. Oh, I see. Let me guess. He always wants to phone home, right? <laughs> you laugh. But we did have to lock out the 976 numbers, remember, honey? Well, I guess the best thing would be to just have you meet him. You guys are going to carry this right to the end, aren't you? Alf, you can come in here now. Alf, it's so good to meet you. <laughs> so sorry I doubted you. Oh, where is he? He must be hiding. He didn't want to meet you. Oh, well, he's probably shy. No, he just doesn't like you. <laughs> Would you try to find him, please? We're not kidding, Neil. This is real. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you all really believe this? I mean, is this something you've actually seen? In haunting clarity. <laughs> Sorry. You must be Neil. I'm Gordon Shumway. Did I kill him? <laughs> wow. This is gonna take some time to sink in. Well, while you're in a daze, let me show you where your brother keeps his bandsaw. I'm being insulted by an alien from space. Get used to it. Uh, can I touch you? Not without dinner and a show. I have a million questions I want to ask you. I'm sure. Keep them to yourself, huh? Now, enough of this small talk. Let's get down to business. I understand you're quite the cook. Do you eat like Earthlings? Do I eat like Earthlings? Willie, tell him. He eats. He doesn't chew. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Kate's right. Get a life. Alf. Willie, 
may as well know. I mean, we're all family now. So, in other words, what you're saying is, except for having eight stomachs, you're really not special in any way. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> hey, are you gonna play, or are you gonna jabber on all night? Oh. Well, I thought you said this pointy guy could only move diagonally. Did I say that? Well, what I meant was it could only move diagonally except when the move follows the taking of an odd number of the opponent's men from the board. Oh. You sure you never played this game before? No, this is my first time. Good. Let's play for money. Jin, you owe me 1,500 bucks. Okay. Okay.